In this video I will show, show you the one trick that helps you kill the fear of learning. I have applied this trick for around five years now learning Vietnamese but also learning other things like programming. I'm still not perfect and I will never be. But the more and most important thing is that I keep, still keep going. I do something every day. Uh, but where, where, where to I? Where to I? Đi, đi lên cầu. Lên cầu, right? Lên cầu nha. Yeah, <laughs> Oh, yeah, we. I will explain this uh, with the example of learning a language, which is probably one of the most difficult things you can do in life. And this trick will just help you keep going. This is what I want you to help with. I want you to keep going, keep learning every day. <sighs> learning languages is not easy. And the one thing that normally stops people is they stop learning. They just st stop, keep going because it's too hard for them. They have a fear. And if that's anything like you, well, let's see if this video can help you. When I came to Vietnam around five years ago, I was really scared of the whole culture here of, because everything was so fast and the language was so different. I mean, I could read the Latin letters, but they're still so different and I didn't know how to pronounce things. So, for example, things like getting a taxi to a Bentan market was really difficult because I could, the, the driver couldn't distinguish from me saying Bentan or Bentan market. Hello. Hello. Go to Bintan Market. Uh, Bintan. Market. Market. Bintan. Bintan. Bintan Market. Bintan Market. Uh, Bintan District. Bintan Market. Bintan um, Diploma Bintan. Uh, what? Uh, how much? Okay. Uh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Wait. 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 I show you here. Okay. <laughs> Bintan. Bintan. Market. Okay. Okay. That's. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> But so this, this was a sh really huge blocker for me. I didn't know where to start and I didn't know what to do and I was basically lost. But I was determined to learn. There was this one moment where I tried to get my driver's license translated from European driver's license to Vietnamese. And I was in this office uh, with, with my ex-girlfriend and we were trying to figure out how to translate my driver's license. And then I saw this guy. He was standing there in the hallway <laughs> and arguing with the, with the Vietnamese uh, officer. And it was a white, a tall white guy, um, and I. It was it was spectacular because he was talking Vietnamese so fluently. He was arguing with his officer, so I said hi. I went went there, said hi, asked him for his Facebook account, uh, and then we we connected and we met up. And this is the guy I made the video with uh, two years later which you see here on my old YouTube channel. I think it's good for anyone to learn a language to just learn from this guy because he did it in two years, a super difficult language and now he's super fluent. How did you learn Vietnamese? I, I always tell people I met this guy who was just crazy and he was locking himself in for two years mm. somewhere in Saigon. How did you do that? Exactly, like for two and a half years my obsession was learning Vietnamese. So I rented a little room near the University. I registered there and studied every day, every morning for two hours, did formal study at the university, mm -hmm. and then uh, came, came home and did, did my homework, uh, had a sleep after lunch, and then the afternoon was all just play. I would go and just hang out with people in the market or the old guys who are drinking beer in the street, to sit with them and uh, listen and try to use what Vietnamese I had, go for coffee, you know, because Vietnamese love to do. Yeah. Nothing but sit around and chat about nothing. <laughs> Most people learn Vietnamese, they, they want to speak too soon and their ear isn't ready. Uh, you've got to actually try and hold your, 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 your speaking back and let your ear adjust and open and then your mouth will follow on. Right, yeah. yeah. And if you try to speak too soon then you'll lock yourself into a bad, bad patterns and bad habits of pronunciation that are going to stay with you forever. So like the, the really, the modern, uh, the modern approaches to, to learn, language learning now, I think they even forbid you to speak for the first two months. 
you didn't say anything. Uh-huh. You just sit and listen, and people point at things, and you point at things, and you listen to the different words and look at different objects. That's interesting. Yeah, and they and they say, please don't don't talk. Just get used to the phonemes and all the sounds of this language, and start identifying things like a baby does. Uh, let's say he now ran. He do do tip lam ye. Joy, joy, joy. Now, the the yum yum. Uh huh. Uh, the ga bang, the semi yum yum. Um, cafe. Uh, um, sento. Come to the bar. The bar um bia. Come to the bar. Come to the bar. Um, this video has became just a bit popular, and you see how much I progressed in two years. This video also explains how Gavin learned uh, to to speak Vietnamese in in two years from from basically zero to fluent. And then Gavin gave me this Word document and uh, I'm sorry, I searched my phone, searched my Google Drive, I searched my computer, I cannot find it anymore. But this document was from some expert on learning languages and basically showed me this one secret and I've, I've been applying this principle since these five years now and yeah, this has been the, the core of my progress. Are you ready for the secret? The one most important thing on learning a language is you need to make it easy for you. What does it mean, easy for you? Well, let's break it down a bit. Making something easy, well, of course you want to have things easy, but the question is, what is easy for you? So this is the basic, uh, the basic important principle in learning a language. For example, a sentence that has 10 words and I don't know any sentence there is not easy for me. A sentence that has 10 words and I know all words there is too easy for me. So you need to hit this, this, this one slice where there is something you don't understand, but you understand most of it. You get the, like the context. I have an example for you here uh, for, for an example of a Vietnamese sentence I didn't know today. So there was one word in there which I didn't know and I tried to get it from the context. So for example, this sentence here. So those words I already know. So this is like a dear customer, please. That's a word I don't know yet. So this is Khao Chang. This is the mask for the bike mask. The Makin is uh, sunglasses. Thank you. So this one I don't know. Tao? Um, what is Tao? And, well, Tao is mean you need to take it off. Take something off. Yep. Yeah, so from the context I can probably guess this is do something with this. So what does it mean? Because this is an entrance of something, they're probably going to film me. So that's something I can guess from the context. Easy. The question is, where do you find sentences like this? That's another example. I do know that this is beefsteak. I know gum. This is probably a name. What is sale? I don't know what sale is. The first thing is you need to estimate your level. Estimate right. your level. How do you estimate your level in learning a language? Um, like I would try to try to um, do four skills and then like I will try I will try to look for the, the, the skill that I need to improve and then okay. I will focus on studying on these skills. Okay, like, so you need to find your weaknesses. So yeah. you need to have an honest conversation with someone who knows you maybe. Someone if you are talking with your Vietnamese like uh Anh Việt như thế nào? Uh phải học học thêm gì? Yeah. Em nghe gì? So I would ask you for an honest opinion yeah, about you're, you're, where you're, I suck. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Your Vietnamese is very good. Okay, well, so. what would, would be my next level in Vietnamese? In the in the level of ten, I will put you in seven. Maybe. In seven. So yeah. w- okay, what is what is eight? How can I learn eight? That's a basic question. <laughs> <laughs> eight is uh, when you when you know how to use the slang word in the right. Slang language. words. Yeah, you should okay. try less slang word. Okay, so Laum says, uh, I would need to start to learn slang words. Nice. But well, basically, estimating level, okay, ask someone who knows you and he, will, and he will give you the right answers. They say, you need to improve X, Y, Z. So for example, when I talked uh, to him earlier, I told him he needs, he needs to learn the, the, the third person S in English. Because he was forgetting it. Okay, and then, then it's just a question of, where do you get the content from? So once you estimated your level, you try to find the right content that you can, that you still understand in, the, in, a, in a whole sense, but 
some things you don't understand yet, so you're challenged. So for example, if you watch Netflix, that's probably, let's say if you're at a level of, I don't know, let's imagine the level from zero to 100%, you speak English at like 50%, you might be able to watch Netflix. You maybe you're not able to watch let's, something, something complex like House of Cards, but you might be able to watch some other series. Um, I don't know if it's on Netflix, maybe like Lost or, or Heroes, something that's simpler. So you find the content where you know, you feel that you understand it, but you're still challenged. So this makes it still easy for you to learn, but at the same time, you're challenged in the right way. Well, then point number three and point number four is just you, you try to digest as much as you can. Point number three, you just try to learn, learn, learn. You just try to consume. And the good thing about this is once it's easy for you, you just go, you go with the flow. You're, you're not, you're not uh, overwhelmed and you're not uh, underwhelmed. And then step number four, it's quite easy. You just go to the next level and you repeat, repeat the same process. So I'm gonna put together this video now so that you will have it. Um, I would like to know from you, what is your level right now? Uh, where are you at? And where do you think, where do you get your content from? I think this is very important. If you could put this into the comments, that would be really helpful for the other people uh, watching this. Tell us where you get the content from. I would really love to see and um, maybe one day I compile a resource where you can all learn from. Okay, thanks guys and see you in the next videos. Bye. <laughs> oh. <Thank> you. <laughs> we did it. Yeah, thank you. Are you ready for the nuclear war? Oh, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs>